Within the AccuDraw settings, there is an option that you can do a multi-point key in. To get to that particular dialog box, what you need to do is make sure you have AccuDraw open. And then on your keyboard, if you hit the letter M, it'll bring up another little dialog box that says Data Point Key In. You have a few different options underneath here. You have Absolute, Delta, View Delta, Distance, and these two ACS ones. The ones that we're going to talk about in this section is the Absolute, Delta, and Distance. We're not going to worry about this one here and these other two. Absolute, what that allows you to do is if you had a certain point that's out there that you want to draw something from or to or maybe place a cell at a certain coordinates, this would allow you to do that. And to demonstrate it, I'm going to use the place line tool. But like I said, you can, if you want to utilize it for placing a cell, like maybe a tree or a power pole or some other cell at a certain coordinates, you can do that utilizing this data point key in. To do that, what you need to do is come into your dialog box here and type in your X, put a comma in between it, and then put in your Y. And for this one here, I'm just going to put in 100.5 comma and then my Y, um, let's say it's 105. I'm just kind of putting something out there just to kind of demonstrate how it works. Once you typed in your X value and your Y value, hit the enter key on your keyboard, and it'll actually start that line at that coordinate that you placed, or place that cell at that coordinate that you placed, or whatever tool that you're utilizing, it's going to start it at that particular point. But now, for this example here, I'm using my place line tool. Let's say I need to draw it out somewhere over in here. You know, if I had another absolute point that I need to go from to another point I could put in that value and I'm just going to shoot off the hip here and I'm going to put in 120 comma 130 hit the enter key zoom out just a little bit if I'm finished with it I can right click to reset it and now we're finished so that's what the absolute allows us to do it allows us to put in that coordinate if we have certain coordinates that we want to draw something to or from or place maybe a cell at a certain point. I'm going to go ahead and delete this line out. Go back to my place line tool. The next one is the delta. What the delta does is it measures the x and y distance from the last data point. So if I come out here and let's say I put draw in the fit view, let's say I draw a line in here use my place line tool and I draw a line I right click to reset it right here was my last data point so if I utilize this option here let's say I put in 20 comma 20 hit the enter key that's where it's going to draw it from it's going to go from this point right here it's going to go 20 units over 20 units up and that's where your data point is going to be at. Now you can start this line or whatever operation that you're doing from that point there. Don't know if you ever utilize that one, but that is an option that you could utilize. The other one that we're going to talk about is this one that says distance. So let's say we come out here and we're starting our line at a certain point. Go back to my place line tool. I come out here and I place my line, I start my line at a certain point. Let's say we have a distance and maybe a certain bearing that we want to draw this line. What we need to do is put in our distance, and let's say it's 100 feet, comma, and then now we put in our angle. We could put in 45 and hit the enter key, and basically it's going to draw a line 100 feet at 45 degrees that's what we need we're good to go or let's say we come out here and we have a certain bearing that we're trying to draw something we play start our line let's say my distance is 76 feet comma and let's say our bearing is north 35 
degrees and to put in that degree symbol what you need to do is hold your shift key down and select number six on your keyboard not where your number keys are but right above where all your letters are at on your keyboard shift six and that puts in that carrot symbol which is actually a degree symbol whenever you're putting it inside your dialog box here now we we can put in our minutes let's say it's um, 10 minutes and 43 seconds west that's the bearing that we're going to draw this line at if that's what we want all we need to do now is hit the enter key on your keyboard and it draws that line 76 feet at that bearing now we can go from this point maybe draw another line in if we need to do that or for finish we just right click to reset it and we're done so that's using the distance option it allows you to put in your distance put a comma in between it and then after that put in your bearing so those are some of the options using the multi data point key in box inside of your AccuDraw box whenever you're utilizing AccuDraw one thing I did forget to mention whenever you're using the data point key in is whenever you're putting in your distance here if you have an even foot let's say like 300 foot or 305 or 15 all you need to do is put in that value put in a comma and then put in your bearing or your angle that you want to draw the line at but let's say we had a distance of 15 feet three and a half inches well to do that what you need to do is type in 15 for your feet and then in between there put a colon that will break out your feet and your inches so 15 foot colon and then let's say it's three and a half inches so I'd put in 3.5 or if it's in some other inches you may have to put in a different value there 3.75 for three quarters and, and so forth after you have your inches put in there put in your comma and then put in your angle or your bearing and then now you can draw that line just like that so I come in here and I measure it now using my measure tools we see that we have our direction of 30 degrees with our correct length so that's how you break out feet and inches inside your data point key in dialog box.